another One Monroe Minute. Today's topic, vulcanized rubber. You may be wondering, what's the difference between traditional rubber and vulcanized rubber? The answer to that lies within the vulcanization process itself. This process adds sulfur or other curatives to the rubber compound, followed by a heating process. The mixture is heated to a specific temperature, where the sulfur forms chemical bonds between the polymer chains in the rubber, creating a three-dimensional network structure. In simpler terms, vulcanized rubber is simply any type of rubber that's been hardened using this process. The advantage of this process comes from the significant improvement in the rubber's properties. Not only is vulcanized rubber stronger, more elastic, and less prone to deformation, but it also becomes much more resistant to heat, chemicals, and abrasion. This makes vulcanized rubber much more sustainable for a variety of different applications. Of course, one of the most common uses of vulcanized rubber is in the manufacturing of tires. With vehicle and even bicycle tires, vulcanized rubber holds properties that allow these tires to withstand the harsh conditions of the road much better than traditional rubber. Another use of vulcanized rubber can be seen in industrial conveyor and transmission belts. This type of rubber is utilized due to its ability to withstand tension, its resistance to wear, and its flexibility. Seals, gaskets, and connectors also use vulcanized rubber to prevent leakage of gases in mechanical systems. For electrical connectors, cables, and wires, vulcanized rubber provides insulation to make it sustainable for transmitting electrical currents safely. There's even a good chance that the soles of your shoes that you're wearing are made of vulcanized rubber. This type of rubber provides grip, durability, and cushioning that makes it suitable for both casual and athletic wear. Another interesting use of vulcanized rubber can be seen in a variety of sports equipment. Vulcanized rubber is commonly used in basketballs, soccer balls, golf balls, and even hockey pucks. Even racket grips and tennis are made of vulcanized rubber, as well as protective gear for football, hockey, and lacrosse. Be sure to get in touch with one of our sales engineers to learn more about vulcanized rubber and how it can be used to suit your needs. Thanks for watching this week's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time with another One Mineral Minute.